Welcome to another video. And today we are going to determine what type of bus is for you. First, what, let's start off with what is your traveling style? Are you going more full-time like a house or RV? Or are you just going to be a camper or just on the weekend, things like that. A smaller size bus would be ideal for just go going campground for the weekend and things like that. Larger bus would be for things like um, living in it full time. Now let's go how important is bus height to you normally they're both slightly pretty low but um you can get it raised it's pretty expensive 8 to 14k to get it raised by a professional but you can do it on your own that's what most people do so if you're a taller person and you're not doing a roof raise, it's going to be very annoying to have to be ducking in your own home the whole time. And this is really the whole reason I'm, I'm making this video is because this is really important. Let's start off with, with the high gear bus. A high gear, geared or mountain bus would be for, a mountain bus is for the mountains. If you're planning to be up north, say Montana or Wyoming, things like that, Tennessee, you're going to want a high geared mountain bus. A low geared or highway bus is for the flatter area of where you are at. So that may be Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Texas, really the lower part of the U United States. We'll move on to that. You always want to look under the bus and really inspect your bus before you buy it number one rust if you're buying a school bus most of the time you're gonna have at least some rust if it's used because kids spilling things all it is is a rubber piece of flooring plywood metal that plywood can rot very easy that rubber is not watertight at the seams so there will be rust your goal is to get zero rust that's very rare so wheel wells things like that next up is tires you really want to try to get a bus with good tires already like a penny test if a penny disappears when it's in the tire tread your tires are good to go but new tires can cost a lot of money like several grand my, my friend got a new set of tires for his bus and it was six grand for tires just because of how big they are you definitely want a good engine Mer mercedes engines are very expensive for parts so i would not suggest that make sure you try to test ride the bus so you know how bumpy it is and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I got all of this stuff mo mostly from aimlesstravel.com. So I'm going to end it here and bye.